we as human beings, we only protect things that we love. We only love things that we understand. And we only understand things that we're taught. Then my 16th album was my turning point. Uh, so that was the album which actually won the Grammy Award. It was an album called Winds of Samsara. All three of my awards were for Indian albums. If you look at Pandit Vishwamohan Bhatt won a Grammy Award, Pandit Ravi Shankar, the recent Grammy Awards, the world is one family. That's what Vasudeva Kutumbakam teaches us. I was working with jingle production houses all over the world, in France, in Germany, in uh, USA, in Singapore, in uh, Japan. Wild Karnataka is a beautiful film that uh, I had the pleasure of uh, composing music for. It's a film by Sir David Attenborough, so one of the greatest uh, uh, natural history filmmakers and creators ever who have actually gotten international recognition of people who have dug deep into their own roots and have figured out what is it that makes them uniquely Indian and created music which was purely themselves. One should not be a delusional person to think that if I make a piece of music, everybody's going to love it. Any advice for young musicians who want to represent India globally? You know, it's a myth that you need to create music in English, you need to create you know, Western forms of pop music. I did albums with a whole lot of international labels like uh, Water Tower Records, Water Music Records, Universal Music, EMI. And for me, music is always on my mind. Like right now, I'm talking to you. In my mind, I'm composing a soundtrack for a conversation. Is so it romantic? <laughs>